Hey there guys, it's your good pal Wiggly, and welcome back to more Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode we did levels 5C through 8C, effectively finishing everything that I wanted to do in the base game, including obtaining the Platinum Trophy. And in this episode, we are continuing on to the free DLC level added in 2018, called Farewell. This is the final level in the game, and I've been informed by everybody who has talked to me about it that this is, no contest, the longest level in the game, and also the most difficult. I will be tackling the entirety of the level in this video. A monumentally impressive game deserves a monumental ending. I'm curious to see where they're going to take the story, because at the end of Core, we kind of just got to the center of the mountain. Madeline called the place like warm and nostalgic, if memory serves. And then we just kind of got that art of her floating in the center of the mountain. So I'm curious where that's going to lead. So I suppose without any further ado, Let's say farewell. Is this the end of 7C? It is. Why? Why are we here? Okay. Um. That's incredibly heavy. Okay. Um, well, I wasn't expecting this at all. Good lord. Granny, is this even longer after core? When does this take place? I can't believe you're gone, you old bat. Well, I guess I can. It sounded like you were saying goodbye in the last letter you sent me. Man, okay. Well, this is... a dynamically different direction than anything I expected. This isn't fair. I need you. You didn't prepare me for any of this. What do you want her to do, apologize? She's gone. And you didn't even go to the funeral. I know. I just couldn't. Oh, Madeline. I fell apart. I'm so sorry, Granny. Sorry won't bring her back. Okay, okay, Madeline, please. You're right. It was selfish of me to come here. Hello, bird. Who are you? You keep showing up. My money is on... You are the mountain incarnate. Because all you've done is swoop down and give me tutorials or just kind of caw and then fly away. As if you've been, like, observing me. But, wow. Okay. Um, Granny's gone. So that's what farewell means, huh? Jeez. Oh, the bird's like flying along with us now that's pretty cool and we still have our two dashes back and it seems like we can get our dashes back without crossing screens or getting dash gems thank god where are we going madeline we have to follow that bird it's part of granny just like you're part of me really okay i thought it was just her pet or something it has to be more than that that bird was always looking out for me on the mountain, just like Granny did. Madeline, I hate to say it, but you're in denial. It's just a bird. Just shut up and help me for once, okay? She's helped before. Come on, Madeline. Okay, so we just went to space? <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, 
We're really high up, I'll say. The mountain looks like a molehill from here. We should really turn back. We don't have time to argue about this. How are you even breathing up here? Granny wants us to follow her. We can't let her down again. It's a bird, Madeline. Granny is gone. You really think that's just a regular bird? It's part of her, and it's still here somehow. Maybe there's a way to bring her back. I have to do something. Okay. I'm... I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of on Madeline's side. Madeline's being, like, kind of odd right now. I can't help you with this. Then leave. Oh, no. Don't worry, Granny. I won't lose you. Okay. That's interesting. Looks like just because we hit the summit doesn't mean that we're done dealing with heavy stuff. So we're separated from Badalyn again, which is interesting. Uh, eyeball creature? Question mark? Is that related to the mirror temple at all? What the heck is going on up here? Whoa. Okay. Oh. A double dash gem? Okay. So it temporarily gives us a second dash. Interesting. There's like cells in the background. Kind of virus looking stuff. This is a really interesting aesthetic. I'm kind of digging it. Okay, we've already got some some tricky business here. Are there any collectibles for me to worry about? I know that there isn't a B-side or anything, but I wonder if there's strawberries. Up, doot, doot, okay. It's time for us to use all of the, the tools at our disposal. Every bit of knowledge that we've gained over the course of the game comes to fruition now. Um, okay. There we go. Haha. -ha. All right. I can see how this might, if this level's really that long, I can definitely see how this might become the most difficult level in the game. I'm also glad that we get to hear new music. Okay. There's like a weird squeaking sound. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like an odd weird thing in the music, I think. Sounds like a, a percussion instrument. It's like really high pitched. Huh, okay. Sorry, that kind of distracted me. Alright. Um. Why are we struggling so hard with this? Why can't I make that jump? This is not a good start. Alright, well, I really don't want to... Oh, man. Duh. I'm feeling like I'm losing all my momentum there, for whatever reason. Hmm. I didn't expect a block to be my biggest foe right now. Okay. Well, we definitely need to somehow get up to this block. Why am I struggling so hard on this? This seems like it should be really easy. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Oh. Okay. Is that intentional? Am I really supposed to do that? Really? Okay. That is 
spicy. Okay. We've got our classic combo of spikes and springs. Now. Alright. This room doesn't really look <laughs> so bad, I say, as that happens. Okay. Are you wanting us to go over there? I think so. Hmm. <laughs> but then why would this be here? Very curious. Maybe maybe you desire a downward angle. That would at least get us to the wall. We are doing not so hot, even to start out. I only took a one day break, and yet somehow I feel kind of rusty? Question mark? Okay. Well, what about that? That's not the worst idea. Ah, okay. And then we bounce, bounce. Oh, I see. Okay, so the puzzle here is to get through this whole thing without using either of my dashes. Whoa, okay. But that's kind of a problem. Uh-huh. Ooh. Do I really have to catch that as it's descending? Question mark? That's very tricky. If that's really what you intend. Oh, but wait. We don't need to grab onto it. We can just wall kick off of it, right? Not really helpful on that one, but on the second one here, maybe we can go just like that. Yes, absolutely. Okay. We can go like that. I meant to just, like, no-grab wall kick and do it, but, I mean, we did it anyway, so who am I to complain? All right, so we've got, uh, door keys. Hmm. <laughs> There's that weird... faint percussion instrument again. I really hope I'm not the only one who hears that. It's, like, in the left ear. It's so strange. Okay. So we're not supposed to go over it. <laughs> Man, I'm just imagining the golden <laughs> strawberry for this level right now. And that seems like an absolute disaster. Their design here is so tricky just from the start. Also, there's a little worm dude back there, and I like him. He's pretty cool. Oh, but if we dash, we get a little bit more momentum. Okay. Wait a minute, I can just, okay. My brain is still in, in core mode sometimes. My brain is still in like, don't use your dash because you have limited dashes. but we don't have limited dashes. Well, we do, but not in the same way. You know what I mean. Okay, let's go. Hup, hup. They look like jellyfish from SpongeBob in the background, some of them. And it's kinda making me laugh, especially that one, the small one, like right at the start. Okay. What am I doing wrong here? Ah, I just wasn't doing the second dash quick enough. Okay. This is a lot of fun. Very difficult already, but a lot of fun. There we go. Excellente. Uh, fish? 
Um... What do you want me to do? Also, why do you have a line in front of you? Oh, okay. Oh, is it? Ah, okay. It's angled, not knockback. I see, but I can also like jump on you. That's what we're looking for. Okay. I see what we're doing with this mechanic. Okay. Lots of spikes and they're like rainbow now. That's pretty cool. Whoa! Okay. Okay, okay, I can get down with this. This is a pretty cool mechanic. Alright, hup. No, we need to get on top of that one. The aesthetic here is really cool. This might be my favorite level aesthetically. I just really like the... the sharp neon colors. Okay. Oh, and the explosion of them also grabs door keys. Well, you're really just gonna do me like that, Mr. Wall? That's rude. Okay. Yay, space blocks. Or, I actually, I was told they were called dream blocks. By somebody in the comments. And I actually like that name more. Because it's, it's apt, you know. Considering they were only in the dream. All right. I'm in a really chill mood. I don't know what it is about this level and just like recording this episode, but I'm just kind of in a really zen space right now, you know? All right, so... Ah, oh, man. Okay. can't go too high. I see that's what the the line is for. To help you... Oh, so close. To help you determine whether you're going to go on top of the puffer fish, or if you're going to get the knockback explosion thingy. I can see this becoming one of my favorite mechanics. It seems basically like a good version of the bumpers. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay. Hup. Bounce. Damn it. Still taking some getting used to, it seems. I thought for sure that time I was going on top of him, but I suppose not. The only thing about these is it feels kind of unwieldy. Okay, there we go. Getting a good directional input on them is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Alright, so we want to go this way first. Why is that space so small? Maybe we want to go this way first. I think we do. This way seems a lot easier, but why are there platforms on the left? Oh, I see why because we need to... Platforms on the right, I mean. By the way. I completely misstated that. I gotcha. Okay. So we need to go... We need to hold jump off of the puffer fish. Wow! Okay. Do that. Whoa! Okay, that worked. Let's, let's try doing that consistently. There we go. And then we do that, that, and he responds there. Okay, okay. I'm feeling ya. Why is there electricity? Do we gotta, oh, that's creative. I like that, okay. We gotta bounce the puffer fish and then voila. Okay. So this room we have we gotta bounce the puffer fish. How far do we gotta carry this guy? There's even more spikes, or er, springs in here. Whoa. Okay, well. 
Only one way to find out. Okay. I thought he was gonna go, like, in the middle. So I wasn't holding right enough. Okay. I see what we're doing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm buying what you're selling. Nope. Okay. Let's go bounce, 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 bounce. But then I have to do a, a short bounce off him that time. So I don't... I don't hit the... Hit the gritty. No, I'm kidding. Wiggle your boomer showing. Um... So I don't hit the spike ceiling. But also, I don't even have to dash into him again. I can just do it like that. Except good, instead of whatever I just did. This is very surprisingly fun. When people were saying that this level was like insanely hard, and I, I'm, I'm sure that I've seen nothing yet, but when people were saying that, I was expecting some really annoying mechanics, but certainly not anything that I found this fun, this quickly. Like, this is a mechanic that I don't see myself getting very tired of. Famous last words. <laughs> you know, I haven't seen them fully utilize it. It seems like we're still kind of in the the tutorial stage of it. Like, this is just a test to see. Like, can you carry him this whole way? His hitbox is very small, though. At least it feels really small. Alright, this is officially the first room that I am struggling on quite a bit. I'm not sure why. This room doesn't seem that hard, but for some reason... The amount of precise I have to be when jumping on this fish is kind of getting me. Though I need to remember that I do have other dashes I can utilize to kind of like, damn, reposition myself. Okay, okay, yeah, there we go. Damn, okay, I died quite a few times in that room. Okay, um, we have just a dash room. Seems simple, clean. Uh, why does it seem like I can go up? Question mark. I can't go up. It's all a lie. Okay, so we have regular dash gems and also double dash gems. Interesting. So what happens if I if I have red hair, if I have one dash and I grab a single dash gem? Do I get the double dash again or no? I doubt it because that seems like it could be easily abusable if that is the case. Okay. I like that we can push the blocks. Carry. Hold L2. Oh. Okay. And we can kind of throw him, too. Uh, I don't want you in there. Okay. So we're, we're playing Breath of the Wild now. Because Breath of the Wild invented paragliding. Oh, but I can't take him in here. Okay. Those are barriers. I gotcha. I gotcha. Oh, no. That's not at all what I wanted. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Ugh! No. So, wait a minute. Can I kind of get, like... Can I get infinite height if I go... If I can, like, dash catch it, I wonder? 
Mm. Doesn't seem like I'm really able to do that. Oh, you can. You can get extra height. It's just really hard to do. <laughs> okay. Well. Uh, there we go. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of getting the the feel of it. Oh, but also I can toss him into that. Whoa. That gave me a lot of extra height. Though he doesn't recharge. your dash. Okay. This is strange. I bet it doesn't look as hard as it feels like it is. Ah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. And it seems like maybe I can take them cross screen. Okay, well. That's not what we're looking for. Ah, okay. So we do need to... Whoa. The bird was there. I didn't even notice it until it was, like, over my sprite. We do need to take into account when we dash to try and get extra height. I wish that re-grabbing it did <laughs> replenish my dashes, but that would probably just be too easy. Okay. I'm interested to see how this mechanic evolves. Because I could see it being really effective and not that bad, but I could also see it being a massive pain. And knowing this game, it's probably going to end up more toward massive pain territory. I wish that I could just throw it straight up. I know that that would probably be too easy, but... Ugh, no. This is weird. Ah, oh, man. It's weird having to use my left index finger for anything. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Ah, oh, man. Come on. Okay. So there we go. Throw, catch. Aw, oh, not quick enough. Alright. There we go. Aw oh, no. There's a short amount of time from when she from when she lets go of the jellyfish to when she is able to like grab a wall. Aw, oh, come on. We had it too. It's so easy, Madeline. Come on. I'm not even Oh, I see why. I don't even have to... Oh, okay. I don't have to... I forgot that L2 and R2 are the same thing. Oh, why is there... There's like a power generator box, like a breaker box up there? Oh, hey! Mirror temple time, okay. I was saying something, but I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, grab and carry are the same button. The game just recommends that you use L2 to do both. But I've been using R this whole time. Alright, well, there's a jellyfish behind there. I can't really do anything about that. What's going on up here with this power box? I assume it's to get rid of the electricity, right? But how are we going to do that? Uh... No. Okay. All right, so we have an exploration segment. I don't know if I've ever said this in this let's play. I don't think I've had a reason to. In fact, I don't know. I don't know if I've ever said it in any in, in any let's play because I don't think I've played a game that's had a jellyfish in it. But uh, jellyfish are my favorite animal on the planet. I love them. I think they're so cool. How they just don't have brains, and they are just kind of, like, immortal, essentially. And I like that other fish sometimes use them as armor. <laughs> just kind of swim in their cap forward. Jellyfish are just really neat, man. 
they're just kind of vibing, living their life, you know? All right, where, where can we go? Okay, what about taking this a diagonal direction? No, nah, neither of these is gonna be very effective. Okay. Uh. Aha. Okay, well, binoculars don't help that much. I really wanna get up there. That seems like too small of a gap to hyperdash through. The game might expect... Uh, I wonder if the game does expect me to hyperdash, because you can do farewell as soon as you do 8A, right? So, like... This is a big area. So I don't know if they expect that kind of thing of me at all. Yeah, that's seeming kind of unlikely. Uh huh. We definitely can't get up that far. We can't get up to the uh, the breaker box. Methinks. Oh, maybe. Maybe that. Is this intended? <laughs> can I... Can I get my dash back? Okay. Okay. That could work. I... I doubt that's intentional. I... I don't know if that's something that they want me to do. Because if they do, that's kind of advanced and kind of tricky. Because, like, I've noticed that if you... If you, like... How do I word it? If you jump at the right time or slide for long enough before executing the jump part of your hyper, then you get your dash back. So, like, like I noticed that a while ago. Um, pretty early on when I started messing around with hypers. But I've never really had a real opportunity to use it. Uh... Okay. But there's not really any way for me to to do anything here. Also this jellyfish is very picky. Okay. Give me it back. No, okay. Does that do anything for me at all? Or did I just kind of slightly sequence break? Alright, give me the jelly back. Those go up a long ways. Because usually they just kind of break when they hit a wall and regenerate, right? But they're just like gone. Oh, there they are. Okay. Well, I guess that didn't really... Oh, but wait. But wait. There's this. Aha. Okay, maybe maybe they did intend that. Okay, so now we have free roaming exploration area with jellyfish. My favorite. Ah, and maybe now we can kind of fudge our way up to the uh, the power box. The breaker? I've been kind of interchangeably using those two terms. Oh, but we can wall jump with Mr. Jelly as well. Maybe that would have made a couple of our past endeavors a bit easier. Alright, I've been messing around with this for a while now, and without a second dash gem without one of the uh, the pink double dash gems, I don't see a way for us to uh, use the jellyfish to get up that high. But also, we have keys to look for? Question mark? Because of these blocks. So I need to find a place where I can 
actually use that jellyfish. Either I'm going crazy or I flat out don't see a way I can go. Um, like I see this crack in the wall down here, but like this whole bottom and right portion here is blocked off to me. And this, this double dash gem is the only way that I can see for me to get up here to break the power box, which I assume turns off the electricity, which is my entire issue right now. Um, I don't think I can get up there with just the jellyfish. I'm pretty sure I need the double dash gem so that I can like grab the jellyfish, get a small boost up, and then like double dash up to hit it. But the only room I can seem to get into is that top one. And I can't do anything in that room because of electricity as well. I'm uh, I'm big confusion right now. Oh my god. Ah, uh, god, I hate it. I hate it when they do God damn it, I'm so dumb. I hate it when they do take the red orb in this direction. So Okay, I, I see that that's what the crack in the wall was trying to indicate, and I did notice this small gap, but man, man, come on. Uh, oh, oh, okay, okay. So we have a double dash gem now, but now we can, oh, okay. Man, I feel so dumb. <laughs> okay, there we go. So now, now we can break the, uh, the weird generator box in the space sky afterlife, question mark? Okay. So we need to go like that, and then, wait, do we even need the jellyfish for that? Yes, I think we do. Oh my god. Okay, well. <laughs> Leave it to Wiggly to to go to Overthink Station again. Uh Okay. Well, there's no more electricity and I like that the music changed. Okay, we have yellow. Whatever that means. Okay. Um Okay, so is this... Okay, this is us getting the keys now. So we dash into the jelly. Take him over. But how are we going to get back? Oh, well. We'll figure it out. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Um... Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it. Okay. The jellyfish can go through spikes, right? Yeah. Okay. That's what they want. Tricky, tricky. Hmm. But also, it has to be low enough for us to... to re-grab. And that's... The difficult part? Let's go! Okay, and then we get Mario Kart bubbled back. Okay, or not Mario Kart. Uh, New Super Mario Bros. bubbled back. As I've said before. Let's just start unlocking these bad boys, then. I really like this level. <laughs> I, I, I really like the challenge that it presents. I think that they probably should have made you do everything before being able to access it. Probably. Or at least, like, the B-sides. <laughs> but, you know, I guess that might defeat the point of free DLC. Whoa. We gotta go way over there. No help. Also, there's a weird, like, floating, breathing tentacle. I don't know what that's all about. Nice. That was very easy compared to the other one. 
Alright. Wow, this room is so much less painful without the... Well, I guess I'm bringing this jellyfish. Huh. Push the switch! No! So wait a minute. That seems like a plan, actually. Okay, bounce. No. We need to bounce this way. No. No. Come on. Oh, come on. Let me bring him. There we go. So then we can just go ha-cha. Push the switch. And then we can start taking our... Our, our friend. What? Okay. This room's got to be clearable with one jelly, right? There's no way that they expect me to bring three in here. Hmm. Do I really gotta, like, throw, hit, catch like that? Because that's kind of kind of nutty. If that's what they expect. Do you want me to bring a, a double dash into here? But even then, I have to use both dashes in order to... re-grab him. So, like... Huh? Oh, there we go. Kinda. Kinda. Do you want us to go back and forth each time? Maybe? Because would that work? Hypothetically, it could. It seems tricky, but I don't see why it couldn't work. Let's let's give it a shot. Okay, okay. I'm starting to get the spacing for it. Oh, but we need to we need to stall it long enough that we can get our dash back again. Man. That is... <laughs> if I'm not overthinking it again, this is really hard. I like it. I like it. Oh, man. Okay, okay. Please. Damn. That's a lot of fun. I really like that room. It took me it took me a little while. Not like insanely long. Not as not as long as the pufferfish room. But it did it did take me a bit. Okay. So two more? Yeah, two more. Okay. Um anything of interest up here? Yes, absolutely. Wait a minute. Is this past? No, it's not. Because the red orb would take us straight up. I like there's a, I like how there's a key beyond the blocks. Okay. We gotta have a lot of jellyfish fun here. Getting some door keys. I didn't press the grab button. I didn't press the jump button. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, right, I can throw it to grab some stuff, too, right? Hmm. <laughs> this also moves a lot faster than you would think it would. Okay. So let's... Diagonal. Diagonal. Okay, okay. We're kind of getting a plan. I don't know how good of a plan that's going to be. But it's a start, right? Whoa. Um. Oh, but the pink ones don't... 
Damn it. The pink ones don't come back. Interesting. Okay, so what if we went for this one? No. Okay, got it. That didn't take too long. Very cool. Alrighty, and one more key to go, and I think I know where it is. It's in the room, yep, up here. Okay. So, I figured out that I can throw the jellyfish into both of these blocks. Let's just wing it. I don't, I don't think looking at this room's going to help much. Okay. So then, after that, we need to dash somehow. Kind of like that, I think. That's really our only way up. And then we gotta... Okay. I see what we're doing. Bounce. Catch. But... The height... Seems very difficult... To like properly manage. <laughs> that got completely away from me and way too quick. I'm trying to figure out where the highest height to gain off of this thing is. Why am I not grabbing that other dash gem? What am I doing incorrectly? Okay. I think I think I just need to do a a slight stall here. Kind of maybe, I don't know. This feels weird. I have to like slightly delay myself there in order to grab the double dash gem. I figured out because if I do it this way, it's just I'm done. Like I don't I don't get the gem in time and I've tried like delaying myself a little bit to get to that block in time like to rather like retime the block. How do I describe this? But it's just not working, but I can delay myself there and do another like I'm going to call it a jelly jump. Just I like I like the sound of that. Um, to do like another jelly jump in order to grab this but I'm I'm pretty stuck in this room this is a significant step up from everything else thus far and also it's very long so you know what I think already everyone's claims have been proven by this level, and I don't even know how much longer it is. I don't intend to do this whole thing in one session, though. Uh, I definitely intend to take a break when I feel like I want to take a break. So, please do not worry about that. Man. I also just don't even know where to go after that. Do they want me to, like, to catch the left block again in between the spike wall? Or what? Oh, okay. That might be useful. Okay, okay. Let's, let's try rethinking this. Because I don't... Ah! Ah! Okay, this feels much more natural already. Okay. So if we go like that... Whoa, that gives us a lot more height, too. Okay. Because if we bounce it off the wall, we get an upward jump. And then they want us to double bounce it there. Okay. Okay, that... <laughs> 
that feels much more correct. Sometimes you can just feel when you're doing something wrong, and I was really hitting my brain against the wall there, and it just, it, that, that wasn't working out, whatever I was doing. Okay, I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay. Come on, no, no, come on, man, ugh. There we go. Okay. Whew. That room was a uh, a real thinker. A real uh, a real brain teaser. Okay. Let's continue onward. Whoa. Oh wow. That's a beautiful violin. I really like the way this song changed. All right, I'm gonna take my first break now that we've gotten to a checkpoint. So I will see you guys in a moment. All righty, session two of recording. Here we go. Uh, it feels very strange to start a recording without doing an intro. Um, I've done it before, but every time it just feels weird. It feels off, I don't know. I almost did one instinctively just now, actually. I was like, oh, what do I say for the, uh, in the last episode part? Do I mention that we were trying to chase down Granny? How do I word this? A uh, little, little fun fact for you guys about that. Um, the intros, the little like, hey there guys, it's your good pal Wegley, and welcome back to more Let's Play Celeste Blind in the last episode stuff. All of that, it usually takes me like many tries to get as fluid as I have them. Sometimes it goes well enough, but most of the time, like a good like 10% of the footage is failed intros. <laughs> that I just edit out at the start. I don't know why I'm so picky about the intro. Maybe it's because I think like first impressions are really important because I don't want to be like stammering in the intro and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. Again, maybe ADHD. I have to like slow myself down sometimes because I like I, I start talking too fast during the intro and I realize it like in editing sometimes. And I'm like, man, I said that way too quick. Okay, so we're uh, we're playing with the uh, the puffer fish again. Sounds good. Sounds good. I think I like the the jellyfish mechanic more than the puffer fish mechanic personally. Um, I can't believe there's enough room to hyper there. That's impressive. You can hyper off of basically anything, I guess. Okay, so we can just do a, a straight up dash there. Uh, this section here is beautiful, by the way. I love the background. I already really liked this level's aesthetic, but like now that we're kind of into like a more positive and whimsical vibe, I'm like really feeling it. Okay. Yay, more jellyfish, okay. So let's see what exactly we have going. Uh, we're definitely going to have to toss the, uh, toss the jellyfish through there and dash through it. I like that the uh, the colors, there, there's like a moving gradient on the spikes. That's such a cool idea. Um, okay. So then we, we recatch it and maybe we drop? I don't know. Hmm, okay. We're gonna have to uh, to lab this one out. I feel like I say that pretty much every time. But, you know, looking at the thing beforehand, especially when there's, like, moving parts, I really don't find it particularly useful. That's a really tight gap, by the way. Okay. So, toss. One more time. 
toss, dash through. That's really tight. I ran... I had, like, the height right, but the position was not correct. Okay, so I see what that's for. That spring is to... to bounce us up. Okay. We have to do another... another jelly hop there. Um... I mean, we can toss it up there like that. They must have left this side... Ah, I think I get it. Okay. I was gonna say, they must have left this side bare for a reason. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe they want me to dash on through and then, like, catch it as it's descending. Just hold on to the wall for a little bit. Ah, uh, no! Something like... Kind of like that. Just wait a little longer. That's something I really feel like they, they've done some of, but not, like, a ton of. Like, making you... Making you really plan out your stamina. Like, there's there's been a couple puzzles that have been, like, really stamina intensive. Specifically, I can kind of think of, like, some of the stuff in... Well, really, like, one jump in 8C. Um, and then, like, some strawberries. But overall, the stamina thing hasn't been, like, that big of a hindrance, and that's probably a good thing. But, you know. Okay, we figured it out. I like that room. Okay. Uh-huh. So are these blocks gonna fall? Okay. Once again, wait a minute, what? Okay, yeah, these are definitely gonna fall, otherwise there would be no reason to put a spring up that high. Okay. But, 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 would they fall? Yes, they still fall if you just do a, a hop off of it and don't grab. Let me test that theory again, because I did, no, they don't actually. I just very slightly tapped the grab button. Okay. Uh... Huh. Ooh, that's tight. Okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. They want us to catch the one that's, like, way up high. That's pretty easy. No. Also, the uh, the um, the death barrier. I don't know what the term for it is. There's death plane. I think it's called. There, there's a term for it uh, in like game design, but I can never remember. I think it's death plane. The death plane moves up with us. Interestingly. <laughs> now all of a sudden I'm having a lot of trouble with the timing again. Okay, okay, I'm kind of starting to figure it out. I have to, like, let go of a direction when I jump, and then quickly input, like, up and right back toward the wall. But the timing has to be better. Hmm. What am I doing wrong there? Okay, okay. I see what we gotta do. We gotta use our momentum from the dash to get further on the spring. I gotcha. Okay. Whew. Every room... Hello, binoculars. Every room has been a task in and of itself. <laughs> okay, um... Every single one of these rooms is starting to feel like... Like, the level of difficulty of, like, the first two rooms of a seaside at this point. And that's kind of awesome. Okay, um... Carry the jelly. Get the thing. I assume... 
Maybe we'll have to collect it with the jellyfish by throwing it and then bounce off the spring. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that's not what we're looking for. All right, let's go just like that. There we go. And then what? Yeah, so maybe let's try collecting it with the jellyfish. Or that, or that. That works too. Okay. I got this room figured out. We just gotta perform it now. That's not what we need to do. <laughs> okay. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I'm glad. I was I was scared that it was gonna straight up be like a full stage of like core seaside tier stuff and I was not going to have a good time with it, but that's not true. Seems like we are having a good time. Okay, so when we jump on top of this fish, it's going to bounce over to the left. And then we need to use the momentum to get up to the top. Uh, I did not account for this, but this works. That is not at all what I was thinking, but you know what? We take those. All right, so we have... Throw the jellyfish into the wall and dash back up stuff again. Whoa, lots of springs, okay. Uh, This room looks very complicated. I assume plenty of these blocks are gonna fall, otherwise this section here makes no sense. Uh, okay. I have a feeling this room's gonna take me a while. All right. Use some of this tech that we've learned. Uh. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Okay, this room's not as complicated as it seemed like it was. Okay. This game is really good about teaching you things but also in a way that it feels like you figured it out and not, hey, look, tutorial window, which I don't, I don't mind. Like modern video game tutorial stuff, it doesn't really bother me. Um, but I know it bothers a lot of people and a lot of people miss like the old school days where games were intuitively designed for the most part. I mean, obviously there have always been games that are not. <laughs> Um, but this game is really, really good about being intuitively designed. I haven't ever really felt like I needed to look up a mechanic. In fact, I've used a guide for exactly one thing. Still to this point, I've only used a guide for 2A's Crystal Heart. And I'm pretty proud of that, honestly. Alright. Like I, I uh, like I definitely could see somebody needing to look up a guide for say like six A's Crystal Heart and whatnot, but you know what? We are we're alpha gamers in this house. That didn't work. I've got the right idea, I think. Okay, okay, nice. That's also a really fun room. That was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Uh, okay, so this block is just the, uh, the blocks from level one. But why... Why fish? Hmm. Well, we can... We can push him with the block. And we can, we can get launched over there, but there's no way back up. So it seems like we need to get him down there. So what if we not do that? Not like that at all. Okay. Um, damn it. Not what I'm looking for. I'm trying to, I'm trying to hop on top of him but it's just not not having it. Okay, there we go. Still not right. 
Yeah, there's definitely no way for us to get back up. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Alright. Um. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We've got the right plan. No! Oh, okay. So... How, then? Also, what's the point of the spring? There we go! Very nice. They're so creative in this level. I can see why they made this stage, because they clearly had a lot more ideas. For some reason, whenever I do a mechanic, my brain just, like, pauses. Also, what the hell was that? Did I hyper? Is that what I did? Yes, that's exactly what I did. Okay. Um... Well, we clearly need to... I see what we need to do here. Whoa. Uh... Okay, nope. Can't cheese it with that old trick. Okay, never mind. That was significantly easier than I thought. Okay. Um. All right. So these are the uh, the stage five blocks. Do we need to bring Mr. Fish with us? I think so. Nice. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, I didn't even, I didn't even see the dash gem. The double dash gem, the Mario Kart gem. No. Oh, but that might still work. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that still works. Easy peasy. All right. And now we go over. Okay. We need to collect that with him. Just doing more tossing and catching. That's all we're doing. I wonder when we're going to combine these two mechanics. So far, it's been either Pufferfish or Jellyfish. I don't think we've had a room that's made us deal with both yet. And there's a boatload of interesting potential puzzles that you could do with that combo. Perfect. Yes, just like this. Oh my god, okay. That was close. Okay, we're starting to get used to these controls now. I really... Hmm. I really feel more in tune with the new, um... The new gimmicks now. Oh, okay. Okay. Tricky, tricky. So we gotta... Bounce them and then do something kind of like that. Ish. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so we bounce, and then we bounce. Yes! Okay, we bounce and time it just like that. But then what? We still have a pretty significant amount of time before Mr. Block here comes back. Do we really need to stall for that long? Okay, we can we can do something like that, but for some reason that doesn't feel correct to me. That feels wrong, but I can't really see any other way to go about it. I think we have to, like, re-grab the block there. And then bounce up, and... Do we need to save our dash there or keep it as we bounce over into there? I think we need to... Hmm. Something feels funky here. Oh, okay, that's what we need to do. We just need to be slightly more patient than we have been with Mr. Block here. 
Whoa! And then we gotta catch it again and do a wall jump out of it. Oh boy. Okay. I also like that uh, previous mechanics are still coming back in this stage. Okay, we can't... We can't do a... Whoops. Too fast. We can't do a diagonal dash there because then we're too high up and we don't catch the block in time. So we need to do a forward dash and just commit to landing back on the block again. Whoa. I got way more distance that time. That was weird. Come on. No, so close, so close. I should have grabbed it. Damn it. Okay, there we go. Whew. And we're still going. More moving block stuff with jellyfish this time. Okay. Uh huh. Well, we definitely need to throw the jellyfish over that barrier. What the? Crystal heart? Okay. Interesting. Uh, well, let's, uh. Let's give it a go, huh? Alright. So, tosh the jellyfish through. Oh! That's cool. That's cool. We make the jellyfish ride the block. I like that. That's clever. Okay. So, let's... Toss. Grab. Dash. And then we gotta, like stall the dash again there. Do we need to do two upward dashes? Or would a diagonal and then an up? Or an up and then a diagonal be more suited to our needs? Because I don't know exactly... Okay, two ups. Two ups is the answer. That's absolutely the answer. Okay. Let's get that crystal heart baby... That can't be the end of the stage, though. There's no way that's the end. If that's the end, then I'm gonna be like, why did y'all think this is so hard? Oh, that's much easier. Oh, okay. Grabbing the front side of that block is significantly more efficient than trying to grab the, uh, the back side again. Wait a minute. That might be a problem, question mark? The jellyfish is going to get pushed off the block. Oh, but wait, is that what this jash gem here is for? Ah, okay, I gotcha. And that's why there's like a slight upward angle on those spikes too. Okay, and then we just float across from that point on. Okay, we got it. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we can save one dash if we do it just right. To go like this. Yeah! Cool! Why is there a ship up here? Empty space. Whoa. What the heck is happening? Uh, wait, no. This can't be the end. That was weird. Okay. Granny is still out there somewhere. Which means I need to keep going. <laughs> she just rejected the end of the level. Oh my goodness. Okay, well. Oh. I don't like that. That... Uh, something about, like, glitchy audio really gets me. I don't know. I, does anybody else feel that way? I mean, other people must feel that way. Because, like, it's like a big... It's like a big subgenre of horror at this point. Also, things are falling apart, and there are houses now. What's happening? But yeah, like, analog horror has become, like, a big thing in a... 
I can't even hold a thought. <laughs> Analog horror has become like a big thing. And like a lot of it is like distorted audio. For me, distorted audio is almost scarier than like any visual can ever be. I don't know why audio can be so effective in horror, but it really is. Okay. And now we have like a submarine and a lock. Another crystal barrier lock. So I guess you at least need to do the A's and the B sides for this up to like core and get all the crystal hearts through those. Internet cafe? What in the world? What the heck is this? Barry OS? <laughs> Looks like Windows 95, I think. Wave dashing in you. A practical solution for catching birds in space. Okay. <laughs> okay, teach me about wave dashing, even though I already know about wave dashing. Can't catch that bird? I love the music. Fact, birds are hard to catch. Wow, it's fast. Also, it can fly. And part of you won't help. She's the worst. <laughs> Impossible? This is the funniest thing. Introducing wave dashing. With wave dashing, you can jump very far and regain your dash at the same time. It's easy. How it's done. Oh, that's different than what I do. <laughs> I love the little, the sad face on the spikes. Jump dash diagonally down into the ground. Okay, I've never I've never tried doing that actually. I've only ever done Okay, so a wave dash is different from a hyper dash. Immediately jump again and hold forward. You did it. Go you. If you don't regain your dash, you're starting too low to the ground. If you don't get much distance, you're starting too far from the ground. Okay. Happy wave dashing. Thank you, Mr. Clip Art Bird. I appreciate it. Okay. Oh. Huh. Oh, and they got like a little screen. This is cool. I didn't expect some like weird techie stuff. All right. Oh, sick. Okay. But like, wouldn't a hyper just get me the same effect? Kinda, essentially, yeah. Okay. Why is there just, like, a void in the back? Um. Nah. I don't need to copy you. Alright, so this is just teaching you a wall bounce in case you forgot. I do need to copy you. Never mind. But, like, can't I just, like, go down there to the bottom and climb up. What if I go like, huh? No, okay. What about huh? No. I noticed that you get, you get more height if you dash and then jump, if you dash forward and jump, than if you dash diagonal down and jump, but you get less distance. I don't know if that's also a different term. but I have noticed that. Okay. Yeah, we can just we can just do the same thing we've been doing. The game just expects it now. Oh, but you can like you can like chain it. Also, it seems much Okay, I see I see why they teach it to you this way, even though they've already taught you hyper dashing. Because it helps you retain your dash easier than, like, the weird window on a hyper dash. Okay, chaining them together is difficult. There we go. Oh, and then you got a wall bounce out of it. They're getting real tough now. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Wow. Okay. 
I appreciate that intentional or not. I I assume this dash tech was was found when they were making the game. Oh. Okay, almost saved it. I assume they found it while they were developing the game. Cuz I mean obviously they they at least knew about like hypers and stuff, right? That that gets me every time. Um but they they actually, like, utilized it. It wasn't just, like, special stuff that you could do. They actually, like, made stuff around that tech. And that's really neat, I think. Okay. Yeah, and that is not as easy to do with a hyper, I guess. Um, why am I just getting no distance? I know that it said, like, what the heck? That bird didn't like that. Hey! Don't you want me to help you? Don't you want to see me again, Granny? I don't understand. Are you testing me? Are you just afraid to ask for help? Maybe part of me was right. Maybe it is just a bird. Unless... The bird doesn't want me to save Granny. It's trying to stop me. Just like part of me. I'm alone up here. Well, we don't need their help, right Granny? Don't worry. I won't give up on you. I'll catch that stupid bird and set you free. Madeline... Madeline, you're slipping right back to how you were before you climbed the mountain. You do need the other part of you. Ugh, come on. Okay. I'm... I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> I don't... I don't know if that's, like, a natural reaction to have toward this, but, like, I'm a little sad that Madeline has, like, regressed a bit here. We made so much progress through climbing the mountain, and now we're just kind of like, the second we're dealing with another large bout of trauma, it's, oh, not quite. It's become like an issue again. That's weird. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, um, I suppose that, okay. From, like, a character writing standpoint, it might seem a little weird. But from, like, a realistic standpoint, it is it is pretty easy to relapse back into your old habits, right? And have to reconfront some things a second time. But, I don't know. Climbing the mountain was such a monumentous thing such a big aha moment for her that I felt like it would have stuck a little more. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but it seems like a weird direction to take this. At the very least, having Badalyn come along reluctantly would have made maybe a bit more sense and then have them fight mid-level instead of just... At the beginning, Badalyn says no. Which is just kind of odd to me. I don't know. It's not that I think it's, like, bad or anything. It's just... I'm confused on the motivation. Also, this whole... This whole thing was so sudden and stark. I don't know when this takes place. Like, it's... It's after... After core. But then, like, what what even happened with Core? I don't know, like, what... <laughs> like, what happened in between Core and now, right? That's another thing I'm confused about. I wish we had a bit more follow-up. Because we got to, like, weird space place in the center of the mountain. And we're, we're hugging a crystal heart. And then the game was just kind of done. We didn't get any follow-up from that. 
whatsoever. So I have many questions. Okay. Up and over. Up and over again, but hold jump there. Hmm. Dash through and then get more height. Oh, there we go. Kinda. Sorta. Nice. Okay. We managed to save it. Uh, okay. We have <laughs> uh, Kevin. I now know why he is named Kevin. Thank you, commenters. I appreciate it. Um, okay. Okay, he's gonna slam into this wall and then come back around. And then we could probably just ride him from that point on, right? Oh, but we got... We got the Dust Bunny stuff. Hmm. Interesting. Difficult. But interesting. So what are you desiring from me here? Exactly. Huh. At first I thought they want me they wanted me to like eh, maybe they do. Maybe maybe they do want me to jump off here. And then yeah. It's kinda what we're looking for. Okay, I had a double dash. For some reason, I thought I only had a single. Okay, I don't like how much space I used there. But we have we have more space. It's best if we just do that, though. That's optimal. There we go. Hut, hut. Oh, no, but then we gotta get back on the side. Okay. This room's not that complicated. Perfect. Okay. And then up diagonal. Grab the front. Not like that. That wasn't grabbing the front. Okay. And then we go again. But be careful, because that happens. Damn it. Okay, we got it. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, okay, these are the automatic moving ones, not the dash ones. Uh huh. Are you trying to do what I I think you're trying to make me do? Oh my God, are you? Do you really want me to go like like that? You do. That's crazy. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Hup. And then, uh, hup. And then do it again. Okay. I'm, I'm much more open to the idea of, in the future, maybe, maybe trying out some mods. Because <laughs> now that, like, we're actually doing some of this tech, and it's not just new mechanics, this is cool. Big fan of this. Okay. Wave dash, up, jump. Wave dash, up, jump. Oh yeah! That's such a cool room, okay. We have double dash, and collect the stuff. I assume that block's probably gonna move right when we get the things. Okay, but we can do the whole thing with double like this. I'm going to save my second dash for as long as possible. First one has to be used here. There's no no mistaking that, no doubt about it. Okay. Down, up, too quick. Maybe going diagonal is our best bet. That wasn't diagonal. Fingers, brain, cooperate. 
Uh huh. Do they want me to wall bounce? They do. Okay. Oh, close. We should have just done it off of the back side. I sometimes forget that these blocks have two sides. An A side <laughs> and a B side. And a C side, I guess. Because I guess we have pyramid cassette tapes now. Still goofy. <laughs> There we go. Okay. That took me way longer than I would have liked to admit. Alright. Um. Okay. So it looks like they want me to wave dash wall bounce here to get up to that spot with the, the double dash gem. And then wall bounce some more. Ooh, circle around up there. Yeah, this is this is wall bounce city. I gotcha. Okay, yep, yep. That's exactly what we need to do. Okay. Close. Nice, and then wall bounce. And then wall bounce again. Okay. It's just very quick and very precise. But it's easy. It's simple. It's not that bad. Okay. Uh oh my god. Okay, okay. We can salvage this. Nice. Very good. Okay. And then we're hopping around the Christmas tree. I'm <laughs> sorry. We are grabbing this and then quickly jumping up, or are we wall bouncing off of it? Let's let's see what happens if we wall bounce. Okay, nothing. Okay, it takes a little while for them to activate. And also, okay, hold on. So like, oh, okay, that's interesting. So, we're doing more of that, um, that room with the, the lots of falling spike blocks and the springs that we did earlier. This is, like, that tech, letting go of the wall to not fly as far. Okay, we, ha we definitely have to, to dash and jump off quickly again. Oh, and then wall bounce? Maybe? Maybe. Very, very fun stuff. Okay. Nope. Too quick. Yeah, we definitely can't just freely jump off that one. Nope, that doesn't work either. Okay. I'm grabbing it, but it's not it's not activating. I'm going a little a little too fast, and that was too slow though. Very picky timing. Oh my god, come on. Oh, and then we gotta jump <laughs> we gotta jump around it. Damn. You're getting real strict now. Yeah, and we gotta, and we gotta do like a little, a little ring around the rosy, hop on the backside type stuff in there. That sounded very weird. <laughs> unless, unless, unless. Haha, ha, JK, unless. Okay, no, that's, that's probably going to be our best bet and our most consistent one at that. Okay, but after that, just so I don't mess up. Okay, we got to go to the left side of this block, but we can, we can pretty easily do that. Okay, 
That's pretty much the end of the room. And there we go! Very good. Okay. Alright, so we have... Our good pals, the dash orbs again. Oh, okay. I don't know why. I don't know why I get so surprised when they want me to wave dash. <laughs> okay, that was too high up. Oh, we've almost got this mechanic down. We're very close. There we go. Okay. All right. Ooh. This looks... Oh, my God. Okay. This looks really complicated. Okay. Maybe it's simpler than it... I guess that maybe it's not. It's just kind of like doing more dream block stuff but just going, going right and then going left. But why... What's going on with the, uh, the door key? Okay, we gotta, we gotta jump left. Out of the block. And then make our way back. Close. We got it. We're right there. There we go. That room is really easy. Okay. Uh, all right. We're playing. We're playing hot potato here. It's not hot potato at all. I don't know why I'm calling it that, but we're just kind of we're going back and forth through these blocks here, right? Hmm. What are they looking for here? Do I have to time it specifically? Maybe... Maybe wait a little bit and do a diagonal dash? No. It definitely feels like they want me to do an upward dash there. But then what? Am I just not going... Oh, wait. Are you looking for this? Maybe? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's exactly what you're looking for. Close. Okay. You just gotta, like, clip the corner of this second block. Alright. And then we're making it through, but then... Then what? I feel like the timing should be better than that. We're also not going very far out of that block, which is strange. There we go. There we go. Nice. Those are some really tight uh, dream jumps. What is this? Really? Really? What are you asking of me here? Just to grab the the tiniest bottom corner of this block? <laughs> what? What is the plan? Uh That's Oh, okay. I see. I see. I see. Okay, that's much easier. Okay. Okay, this this room looked kind of ridiculous at first. But then Are you asking me to like a wall bounce after that? Maybe? Because I don't, I don't seem to get enough height. To, 
to go up and over. Also, I'm not close enough to the ground when I wave dash. Okay, we need to wait a little bit longer. Nice, okay. We seem to have the right idea. I don't know if I'm cheesing this or if this is actually what they intend. It feels like it could honestly go either way. I'm gonna I'm gonna bet I'm gonna bet I'm probably making this harder on myself because I have a I have a knack for doing that. As some of you like to let me know. Okay. Now what? <laughs> Alright, that's what these binoculars are for. Okay. So then we just gotta wall bounce over it again. Right? And then ride it on through. Jump off. Okay. Yeah, not that bad. <laughs> I'm starting to find this much more consistently timeable if I do a hyper dash instead of the wave dash. For some reason, the jump throws me off, but I'm getting... I'm at least getting to the wall bounce most of the time when I do a hyper instead. I don't know if it's just because I'm more used to the tech or what exactly, but I'm finding this a lot more effective than the wave dash. At least for this specific puzzle. Come on, please. Yes! Oh my god, that room is murder. <laughs> okay. Alright. How much longer till the next checkpoint? Um... What are you wanting here? Can I... Whoa! Is that what you want? You want me to, like, wave dash off of the cloud? And get underneath it by doing that? Oh my god. Okay. Getting getting wild and funky with it, I see. Okay. My fingers hurt quite a bit now. Not enough for me to like be like, I need to stop this moment, but enough to be like, this is about time to take a break. I'm still I'm still in the same session as uh, the last time I mentioned taking a break. We've we've gone for quite a while this session, and that's good because we really need to make progress. Am I doing the right thing here? I wonder if I can just... There we go. Okay. We don't really need to, to wave dash exactly. Okay. We're falling... Oh no, I see golden feathers. Okay. <sighs> Look, as long as I don't see a bumper, we're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Alright, how far are we going with this feather? Pretty far. We're stretching it kinda to the limit here. Okay. Oh, Very very limited space to readjust if you're not as far as they want you to be. This is a hoog yike. I'm kind of being cringe this session. I apologize. Um, okay, there must be a checkpoint in here then. Why? What on earth is this? Oh, okay. We're falling with the block. I thought you were having me move slightly left and right, and I was like, fuck that. Okay. But then, like, with this one, we're gonna have to, like, let go and dash down? No, we can't. We don't have a dash there. Whoa. We're going a long ways. Two. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's... Let's start to figure it out. Okay, well, first, let's find out if we... Really? Oh, my God. Okay. We're in the real... We're in the real meat now. Good Lord, I thought for sure it was going to checkpoint me there. Oof. 
Okay. Alright, I mean, I guess that's not that hard. But I also gotta hop over that one, and... Hmm. Do we really have to do that? And wall jump off the other side? Oh. Can we... Oh, with a wave dash, maybe we can make it back. Okay. I think I see. All right, let's try that. Okay. Dash over and let... Okay, yeah, if you let go, you fall fast enough. Okay, I got a plan. Okay. We dash over and then we let go. And for some reason, I didn't fall fast enough then. Hmm. Oh, but we can like... Okay, I got it. We can slide down the wall. We don't have to let go of it at all. That's where that's where I was mistaken. Okay. Even though the wall itself is falling, we can still slide down it. There we go. We got it. That was really quick. Okay. Um what? What do you want? There. Huh? Wait a minute. Do they... Do they want me to catch the wall again? No. But is that why there's... That has to be why there's two sets of double dash gems, right? Oh, I can... Oh, I didn't even know that that was a thing. You can fall much faster. Okay. So they, they definitely do want me to catch the wall then. Okay. Okay, okay. Now where are we going? Okay, we're... We're chasing the bird. Okay, okay. Come on. Oh my god. Please. Please. No. Oh, this is so unbelievably tense. Okay, okay. Please be a checkpoint. Don't make me go through all that again. <laughs> Good god. <laughs> I was flying by the seat of my pants there. Holy cow. Like, my shoulders were, like, completely tensed up. What the heck? Okay. Oh, okay. Another checkpoint. All right. I want to keep going really bad, but I got to take a break. I got to at least step back for a little while. Okay. Uh, that was session two. See you guys with session three. All righty. Here we are back again with session three. Let's see what we got. We got Golden Feather. And I saw a, uh, a double dash gem over there. Uh, we're just going straight. Okay. Pretty easy room. Uh, what? Oh, wait. Oh. Okay, okay. I see you. Clever use of the, uh, the mirror temple blocks. All right. So you're looking for a wall bounce. Hmm, but we gotta we gotta dash more often. I wish that I could see this design a bit more. But the blocks cover up the design. And that is the intended design of the level design. By design. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm in a really goofy mood. I had a really good day at work. And by really good day, I mean that it was pretty tame. All things considered, it was kind of boring. Okay, I just did some weird short hop wall bounce. I'm still not calling it a wounce. I almost did. I don't care. Look, man, I don't care if that's the community name. And I feel like this is probably like a semi-large debate in the community. <laughs> 
it seems like something people would argue about, like, you know, in a in a fun way, right? But I if there is a battle going on in the community about whether to shorten wall bounce to wounce, uh, I'm definitely on team don't. It sounds really dumb. <laughs> and not in like a fun way. Like in Super Mario 64, recently, like, a, a couple months ago, I think, um, they found a way to skip a jump in a Lakitu thing in Rainbow Ride, where normally you had to, like, jump on the Lakitu's head and then, like, slide on a thing. Anyway, the point of it is that uh, Mario usually slides on his butt, for a moment, and that does slow things down, but there was a tech found where you don't have to do that, and the community calls it assless, and I think that that is really, really funny in the right way that Wounce is not. If that makes sense. I hope that that long-winded explanation helps you all understand my viewpoint on Wounce. It sounds like Ooh, woo furry talk. <laughs> trying to say like pounce or something. I don't know. That's where my brain goes with it, and I'm I'm not feeling it. Okay. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm in a really goofy mood because, as I said, uh, work was pretty good today. My voice is kind of shot a little bit, as you might also be able to hear, but I don't care. I want to keep playing this level. Okay, this room is tricky, tricky. All right. We could just kind of do a, a downward one there. But then, like, I can get over to that block. But, like, what do you want me to, to do from that block? That's our next little puzzle here. I really like how the music has evolved once again. I can't tell if it's using any of the same, like, motifs throughout the level, but it all sounds pretty in line with each other. I haven't felt like tonally there has been a really stark change in the musical composition other than, like, you know, like, emotion that we're supposed to feel. If that makes sense. Can you tell I took AP Music Theory in high school? No, probably not, because I am really bad at explaining musical things, even though I am an instrumentalist myself. Uh, okay, but, like, what do we do here in order to get up there? Um... That's way too much momentum going leftward. It'll just throw us into the spikes. Oh, wait a minute. I think I get it. I think I, I think I saw a little peek of it there. As we were coming back, I think dashing down on that platform is probably our best bet. And missing that is probably our worst bet. God damn. Okay. So, like, there we go. Oh, come on! Oh my god. That is such a tight jump. Good lord. Okay. Well, I already don't like the looks of that block. Um... What exactly are we doing here? We're just... We're just climbing. With this block. But we have to be really careful... About when we... When we hop on top of it again. But how do we... Go up with it? Hmm. Oh, okay. Maybe we can, like... Oof. I don't think that's what's intended. 
Hmm. This is strange. They must... They must want me to be on top of it for a little bit. At least, like, a moment, right? Just to start the room. But then what? I'm playing very poorly today. What the heck? Okay. Uh, I have to do sooner than that if they want me to, like, chain these. If they do, then that's, like, ridiculous, honestly. But also, like, with this level, I wouldn't be surprised if that's what they want me to do. But, like, then I'm not lined up. I need to trust my gut about when... Oh, wait a minute. About when I feel like I'm doing something correctly. Okay, we can do something like that in order to start the room. This room really feels like a puzzle. Big time. More than some of the others. Okay. Nope. Not what we're looking for. I wish I had two dashes, dang it. Oh, what the heck, Battling? Okay. That is some progress. Maybe we can wait a little bit to kind of time it better. Yeah, and then we wall bounce. Okay. Well, I don't know if that is what we really wanted, but that's progress. I don't know when they're going to want me to land on top of it. Uh, okay. Here, it seems like they want me to catch it again. Do I have to land on top of it all the way up here? Just, like, leave the top completely open until that point? Because that's very difficult, if that is what I need to do. Or maybe they didn't exactly plan. Well, no, it seems like I definitely have to land on it here. I don't see any way for me to get to the other side of the block. I mean, I guess maybe I could quickly dash from the left spring over to the right spring there. But I don't know. No, the spikes are in the way. There's no way I can do that. Yeah, no. Okay. I think I have to land on top of it once there. But then am I just supposed to, like, only cover half of it, maybe? I don't know. Unless I can make it all that way for the second wall bounce. I worded that very wrong. Unless the wall bounce can give me a lot of momentum... Sorry, my brain is on maximum overload right now. Uh, does the wall bounce give me enough momentum to just get to the left side? Okay, okay, okay. But then we have to quickly up left, up right there. Ah, okay, okay, okay. We have to do a double up there. But the, uh, the, the window of opportunity is very tight. Okay, okay, and that's... And that's when we have to land on top of it again. Okay, um... If I can... If I can somehow get to the right spring at this beginning step without landing on top of it, that would be exponentially helpful. Otherwise, we're going to have to make sure that we land on only the left side of the block so that we... That's, that's hard, if that's what they want. Oh, I did it! I did it, but then I slipped off the block. Okay. We just have to get a run where we do really, really, really well at the beginning here. 
and try to get as much space on the left side of the block as we can. And that's really our only option here. Why am I not wall bouncing anymore? Oh my god. Please. No, 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 man. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes! Oh my god, that room is murder. Good lord. Oh god, okay. Um. <laughs> we have upward wind. Really? We're doing fucking wind in this level? I don't like that. Okay. Um. Hmm. These are some weird... Some really weird... Patterns for the spikes to be in. Okay. I think I have an idea of what to do. I can definitely dash through that. That tiny gap. Whoa. The upward wind even affects... The balls. Interesting. Yes, yes. Laugh it up. I know you are. Even if it's just internally. I know. Uh-huh. The... The wind combined with these... is... really not compatible... with my brain right now. I have to, like, account for more upward. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I think there's multiple ways to solve this room. Oh, damn it. Even if you do a diagonal there, it doesn't quite angle it correctly. So what are they wanting from me to get to that orb? That's so weird. I don't think I can get to that orb if I do down or... Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay. If we can't do down or down diagonal, what if we do up instead? There we go. Oh, no. I want to direct left, not up left. There's a lot of directional inputs in this room. This room probably doesn't look that hard, but it is a lot harder than it looks like it is. Okay. And then we gotta... <laughs> we gotta wave dash out of the bubble there. Oh, no! So close. So close. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Um... Interesting. <laughs> Great wave dash. Oh, the timing is harder now because of the wind. Okay. And that gives us way too much speed. What? I think they are expecting it, though. Because I definitely need to have a dash out here. And then we just need to get around. Okay, yeah, they definitely do want me to wave dash. Or do some kind of dash tech. It doesn't really matter whether you do a wave or a hyper or that one. A, a down diagonal hyper or... Whoa, that was weird. Okay. Uh, a down diagonal hyper or a like straightforward hyper. Which gives you less distance but more height. In fact, that's what it seems like they want me to do here. That's the most effective one I've found for this one. Okay. Hmm. Why did I just try to straight dash for it? Okay. But why am I struggling to get back up to the deal? That's the question of the hour.
Okay. It's just it's just a really tight gap. Oh no. <laughs> I'm <laughs> I got major PTSD from that block. Um okay. We have these stars as obstacles. Interesting. This is Ugh. I don't like these blocks. Okay. So we gotta get down there, grab that. This'll move somewhere. Okay, this room's pretty short. Thankfully. Okay, we gotta... But we also gotta time it. What a load. Okay. Yep, just like that. Excellent. Okay. Oh, but then we gotta... Okay. Okay, I think... I think I see what they desire in their heart of hearts. Okay. We grab that wall and then we drop straight down. Because... No, we don't. We grab that wall and then we hop over it. Please. Please. <laughs> okay, I need to slow down. Whew. Okay. Too slow. This is what we need to do. And then we dash to this one, and then we fail miserably. But failure leads to progress a lot of the time. And if you make progress, is it really a failure? Food for thought. Okay. And then it doesn't let us grab that because we don't have any stamina, which is definitely an issue. Okay, okay. We're using wall bounces. Sounds good to me, Chief. Okay. And now we're moving forward again. All right, we have some stars. And it's just a... It's just a precise fall. And I have two path options. I have the easy path and the hard path, it looks like. So, let's... Wait a minute. Let's... Let's save our dash. And also maybe actually get into the hole. Maybe? Okay. Okay. This one's literally just gonna be trial and error, my friends. Oh, so close. Okay, that was pretty painless overall. That that wasn't that bad. Okay. Uh, upward wind again. Whoa. Okay. So I assume when we grab this last one, the wall, the thing's just gonna shoot to the right, and then we just gotta use the momentum. Okay. This doesn't look that bad. Oh wait, there's spikes there. Never mind. Uh huh. Do they want a wave dash there? No, not really. Maybe. Maybe. Hmm. This is looking a mite bit trickier than it first appeared. Okay. But then... What? Oh, okay, okay. I gotcha. And then we gotta... We gotta get back in there in time? To get... Them as they respawn? Maybe? Oh my god. Okay, okay. That's not that bad. And then we shoot. Yeah, okay. These rooms are starting to become a little bit more manageable now. I'm feeling a little bit more prepared. 
Except... How do you want me to get that... That dash gem? Do you want me to get that dash gem? Because honestly... I could probably just... If I... If I do it right... Kinda? Not really. Not great. Okay, that's what you want. And then we do that. And then we go up, and we're playing it by ear. Okay, grab it. All right, and grab that. Oh my god, please, please. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> that was so clean. I'm sorry, I got really excited about that. That was all reaction. Whew. Okay, okay. Ooh, man, that's, that's an adrenaline boost. <laughs> okay, um... Ugh. Ugh. No. No fireballs. Please? The ice ones are fine. I can handle these. This is no big deal. The fire ones, they can fuck right off. Okay. This room is pretty self-explanatory. I don't feel like I got much more to say about this room, even already. It's literally just... Hop your way up. Okay, now what? Okay. Ah, I gotcha. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Huh? Okay. <laughs> we almost completely lost that. That would have sucked. Okay, now we're doing the real wind. Of course. I don't need to look at this. I'm a real gamer. Oh my god. Uh, oh. <laughs> the wave dashing is real. Huh. Oh, that works. Okay. Okay, okay. Is that what they want? I think it is! Oh my god! Okay, okay. I'm just a genius. Okay. I was just doing it to be goofy and to be like, look what I can do. I'm I'm a hip young gamer. <laughs> but, you know. Instead, they planned on it. Like always, I can never do anything cool. It's just what's intended. That's how it feels some days. Okay. Uh. But then how? Oh wait, that's when we need... We need that spring for that. So we have to... Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> Hypering is so much easier, but less fun. So we're not going to do it that way. Okay, but how do you want me to get... Okay, you just want me to do it kind of, sort of, like that. Okay, and then we can get back to the orb. Not diagonal up. Okay, and then... I wonder if we can hop over it? If that would be easier than going under it? I doubt it, though. Okay, there we go, there we go. We are now part of the way. Oh, and now we're switching directions. Okay. And I assume this room does not checkpoint. Okay. So you want us to... Do you want us to wave dash there? Oof. Oof. Uh, I don't like this. Okay. Yes, it looks like they do want us to wave dash there. Oh, thank God, it does checkpoint. 
That is surprisingly nice of them. Okay. Okay, we definitely need to save our dash. Okay, either we need to save our dash to go straight left into the spring, or we need to do that. That looks more likely. Okay. Just gotta get the timing down. Which is a lot harder than it looks like it is. Okay. Up. Over. No. Wrong. Up. Up. And then we gotta and then we gotta like resist the wind a bit there. You have to go with the wind for this first one. And then you have to resist it for the second one. Okay, okay. If you don't hold any direction, then it puts you in just the right spot for it. Okay. And then the rest of that room's pretty easy. Okay. Wow. Now getting down to the binoculars is a task. Great. Did I really just do that? <laughs> I wonder if it's possible to get down with like a perfectly angled diagonal down. That would be incredible if that is possible. Dude, can I get to these binoculars? There. Okay. All right. I see one side is frozen and the other side is active. And then we just have frozen ones. Do we have a, a switch? No, we don't. This is just how, how it be. I see. Okay. Great. All right, so up and then wall bounce? No. Do you just want us to go around them like that? That's a pretty low death plan, if that is what you want. It seems like I could kind of take my pick on how I want to go about doing this. But I want to see if wall bouncing to this next one. Yeah. Yeah, that works. But then what? Is that a wall bounce momentum wall jump there? Question mark? I feel like I'm speaking absolute nonsense now. <laughs> Good god. Okay. I also just noticed that there's one a key down at the bottom here. But then... How do I... How do I not die while jumping off of the lower one there? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's a double dash gem. That's why. That's what you want. Okay. I was... I feel like it's been a while since we've... Has it? I actually don't even know when the last time we had a double dash gem was. It's become so normal to me that I can't exactly think about... I feel like it's been a little bit, and that's why it wasn't on the forefront of my mind. Okay. Okay, I think that... I think that lower wall is just for spacing so that you can wall bounce off of the upper wall. That makes sense. Okay, and then we just gotta ride it the rest of the way. All right. There we go. Okay, not too bad. I, I really like wall bounce centric rooms. Also, what? Huh? Oh, okay. The level is actively trying to keep me from moving forward now. Okay. Um, we have a Kevin. And we gotta take him a long ways. Good God. Okay. He can also move up. 
Nice. Okay. Looks like I had the right idea. But... Do we need him to go lower? How far do we need to take him exactly? And why do I have... A double dash gem there? Okay. Yeah, because like his... Hmm. His default height is too low to continue forward from this point. But we definitely need him later. Without a doubt. Unless there's no way we can get through that without him. So why do they give me a double dash gem here? That's what I'm confused about. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Ah, okay, okay. Clever, multiple paths, making me take the lower path and him take the upper path. Oh, you gotta be fast. You gotta be really fast. Okay. Okay. That wasn't correct. Okay. And that's how we get him back down to the level he needs to be at. But then how do I get back on top of him? That is the question of the hour right now. Like that. That's how. And then we go forward, but also on top of him in order to not get crushed. Damn. This is a complicated Kevin room. Good lord. Okay. And we're back on top. And then we're right there. We just gotta not get crushed by spikes. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, yes! Oh my god, okay. That room is a handbreaker. When the hell is the next checkpoint? Did I miss it? Oh god. <laughs> this is intense. Okay, well, I can confidently say that this level is the hardest by virtue of it being long. I I still don't know if I've struggled. I, I, did, well, I definitely haven't struggled on any room as much as that final 8C room yet, but I, I mean, I've been having to cut in almost every room. So I think even by virtue of that, that makes it the hardest level in the game, right? Just overall, this level's pretty nuts. It's, it's pretty like intermediate to high level of skill the whole way through. Every room requires some level of planning beyond anything that you would see in, like, the rest of the vanilla game, pretty much. Because, like, that 8C room is just, like, it's more muscle memory than it is, like, complete skill. This is just, like, raw you gotta be able to perform this shit. It's not just do the same thing over and over until you get it. It's do the same thing over and over and also be good enough to be able to perform it, I guess. I don't know. I don't know how to word it, but it's something like that. We can go underneath there, but that seems ridiculously precise. I think I've, I think I've softened up on the gold feathers, to be honest. I used to really not like them, but over time I've kind of grown to appreciate their company. It's a pretty alright mechanic, actually. Damn it, we need to go down there for the cycle that I'm doing here. 
Because, like, right now, we're doing gold feathers plus cycles. Two things that I had previously complained about. But it's really not that bad. Okay, up. Okay. You just gotta pay a lot more attention. No! No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, you can, but then we gotta really go for it. Okay, okay, please. <gasps> oh my god, Badalyn! Hello! Hi! What are you doing here? I thought you weren't gonna help. I didn't ask for your help. I know, but come on, Madeline. Think this through. What's your endgame here? All that matters is finding Granny. Then maybe I can bring her home. Even if the whole universe is against me. Aren't you worried about getting lost up here? I'll figure it out. Look, Madeline. We're in space, chasing a mysterious bird. None of this is real. You're dreaming. She's gone. It's time to wake up now. But if we wake up, we'll never see Granny again. I can't believe you want her to disappear forever. You're always so selfish. First of all, it's a bird. <laughs> we don't know that it's her. And second of all... We need to take a step back here. Wow. How the roles have reversed. <laughs> no, you need to take a step back. I'm doing this. With or without you. What is Madeline's deal? I I don't know, man. I, I'm feeling weird about Madeline. I'm done letting you hold me back. We've gone so far backwards now. Granny needs me. Okay. Good luck. What the fuck? <laughs> I I don't like what Madeline's doing here, dude. This is like it's not it, man. Ugh. I'm so I need to take a break. I'm so confused by her motivations now. I felt like I really understood her, but this just feels completely antithetical to everything we've done. I don't know. Anyway, I'll take some time to mull it over. See you guys with session four. Here we are once again for the fourth session of Farewell. Uh, as I said I would, I did take some time to let the story sink in and mull it over a bit. And I think that I'm going to let it reach its conclusion before I make any final judgments on things and I think that that is the most fair way of going about it uh, we have uh, cassette tape blocks but this time they are four different colors instead of two interesting I'm interested to see how they utilize this What I'm curious about is why wouldn't this have worked with just the two colors? How are we going to evolve beyond the two colors other than just having more colors? Mechanically, how is this going to shake things up? Okay, we need a wall bounce there. Why are there cars in the background? This is a very strange area now that I'm thinking about it. And the more time goes on, and, and, and the thing that made me really want to let this story reach its conclusion before I make any real judgments on it is 
I've been editing this as I go, and I, I looked back over the dialogue between Badalyn and Madeline in the last area, and Badalyn saying that Madeline is dreaming. This is all so weird and doesn't make any sense. And if that is the case, I can see a direction story-wise that they could take this. That's a really small gap, even smaller than usual. Um, I could see a direction that they could take this story-wise that would really settle well with me. Because everything is just kind of cranked up to 11 ever since we started this. And it feels very out of line with how the game has been and with how competent the developers of this game are, especially like with the story and everything, I don't know if I believe that they just dropped the ball, right? Also, I just noticed the green block down there. Okay. And I don't even necessarily think it's bad, I'm just confused because everything has happened so quickly. Right. And I guess that's the best way I can go about, like, describing my thoughts on this whole thing. Oh, so close. We have the right idea, though. That's why that gem is there, for us to stall. Okay. I got the general idea of this room now. By the way, I don't want it to come off like I'm not enjoying this. I definitely do not think that this is any <laughs> any sort of real negative stuff. I just feel a little a little lost, I guess is the best way to describe how I'm feeling. And by the way, I don't want it to come off like I'm not enjoying this or that I think the story is like bad or anything because I definitely don't. It's just, I'm I'm a bit confused, because the shift in tone was so quick and so stark. That was so close. Um, that I didn't, I didn't really know how to take it, you know? So, I'm interested to see how this all kind of ties together. I think my, I think my first mistake was expecting this to pick up, to, uh, to pick up where Core left off. Because I was kind of confused <laughs> at the end of Core, too. I don't, I still don't know, like, what happened there. But anyway, I feel like I'm starting to kind of talk in circles about the story at this point. Oh, you gotta be quick. Okay. Nope. That's not the right idea. Alright, I think I've got the general gist of his room down. There we go. Okay. Alright, so what's going on now? Only three colors? The green one isn't here. Okay. Uh, huh. Oh, I see what we need to do. Okay. Bounce on through. Bounce over. Oh! Okay, we're going in between. Okay. So how do we, how do we time the beginning here? It's got to be about like that, at the later portion of the first cycle, so that... Oh, but not too late. That's way too early. Yeah. Okay. About there. Yes, exactly like that. I wonder if I can just, like, go straight through that gap. If you go a little too late, it seems like you could probably just go through where the pink block is. Too early, you're just kind of boned. But, like, let's try... Yeah, that's probably why that yellow spring is there. Okay, okay. We got it. Alright, so now... This looks fun. We're back to two colors. Okay. 
So you definitely want me to wave dash at the start. And then... Okay. This is complicated. Okay. Okay. Okay, but the nice thing about this is that it'll kind of sort of wait for me if I'm just slightly off because the block will appear like right after. Like that. Yeah, okay. But you can't go too early. Nope. Okay, getting the timing of this is kind of weird. Alright, let's try going later. That was weird. I don't know how I got my dash back. I need to look back at that in editing. In editing. Hmm. No. There we go. Okay, too quick, too quick. Okay. I wonder if they if they want me to to stall out there or if they want me to I think I have to use both my dashes to get through there anyway. So That was so early. I don't know what I'm doing. There we go. Oh yeah, and then we Yeah, that's a, that, that's a a pretty tight window. I've been saying the word tight a lot during this, I've noticed. Oh, but we can turn around and grab the wall there. Okay, this is really stretching my brain muscles. This section in particular has really got me thinking in a different way than usual. Nope. There we go. Just gotta delay it a little more. Oh, damn it, that would've worked, too. The later you go here, and the later you stall there, the easier it is to grab this wall. And we boned that. That's not gonna work. I mean, you could probably save it and get to the blue down at the bottom if you're good about it. But unfortunately, I'm not. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. Damn it. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, I think that's the right idea, too. Damn it. Uh, okay, okay. Right there. Yes, yes. Oh, that room sucks. I don't like that room at all. <laughs> okay. Um... Ooh, this is a lot slower. Okay. Da, 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 da. Um. Okay. All right. Well, that room was pretty easy. Oh, now we're going really fast. Okay. Da. Da, da, da. Ah, really? <laughs> okay, well. Not. Not much of a choice. Okay. Nope. Okay. Okay, but how. How do we have to time it? Okay, let's go pink. Nope. Pink. Hmm. No. Blue. Pink. Blue. Pink. Okay, maybe... Maybe that's how they want us to time it? Whoa. I forgot that I can fall that fast. Damn. 
dink, 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 dink. No. Okay, I don't know what I'm trying to do, but it doesn't feel right. <laughs> How does that keep catching me? Uh. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that worked. Okay. I think... I think that'll be our play. Nope. Too quick, too quick. Okay, down. Diagonal. Up. Down. Up. Over. No. I mean... I mean, maybe. That could work. And then we could just jump out and grab the last one. It's probably not what they intended. But it might work. Nope, okay, I wasn't quick enough. I'm starting to I'm starting to get a feel for this now. Okay, that works. There we go. Okay. Woo! Okay, now we're slow again. I like how they indicate how many colors there are at the start of the room. Ew. Ew. Okay, we gotta pass through there. Big old backwards L. Okay. Nope. Hmm. 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 No. Okay. Yellow. <laughs> nice wave dash. Excellent choice. Okay, and then we pass through to get to there. Oh, I hate how slow this goes. It's hard to get consistent at wave dashes. I'm pretty consistent at hypers. I mean, hypers are easier input-wise, to be fair. But... Wave dashes are tricky. Why does this go so slow, bro? No. Okay. This one. Pass through. Why did it take so long? My ADHD does not like this, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. You can't even be, like, touching a pixel of it for it to work. And then I'm, I'm going too fast. I need, I need to use the audio cues. I need to stop talking for this portion so that I can focus on the audio cues. Because for this one, for one of them this slow, the visual alone is not helpful for me. <laughs> Maybe we could probably fudge it like that somehow. Having that extra dash sure would be handy there. I think it's necessary even. I don't know if we can get all the way over there. Nice. Oh. The fact that it's so slow is just Oh man. This is probably my least favorite room so far. I, I'm just not a fan of the mechanic in here. <laughs> so the mechanic of this room seems to be performing everything at the last possible second to get things to line up properly. And waiting and doing lots of wave dashes and that being the mechanic is just not... <laughs> <laughs> Not the kind of thing that I am much a fan of. Okay, grab the wall, jump, dash, go. But then, okay. I've been in this room for half an hour, by the way. Um, but then... What the hell is this? Oh, wait, I see. I didn't, I didn't, my brain didn't even register the double dash gem. We gotta use both our dashes there. 
And you gotta go quick. Ugh. This room sucks. Oh, I see. Okay, we got a wall bounce to it. Okay. Starting to feel like I'm making progress again. Okay. Yes! Oh, God, fuck that room. That's one of my least favorite rooms in the game, if I'm being completely honest with you. Okay, we've got another checkpoint. That one feels pretty soon compared to the others. Okay. What are we looking for? Okay. Just lots. We need it to be blue until that point. Okay. Duh, duh, duh. Nope. We need to be blue for as long as possible. Nope, not quite. Oh, that works too. Okay, okay, okay. Not what I was going for. Oh, hey, there's the bird. Okay. There we go. Got that timing. Okay. Got you, finally! Now, where's Granny? Oh no. Are you okay? Okay, thank God. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Yeah, I mean, I don't... I don't blame him. Wait, please don't leave. At least tell me. You're part of Granny, right? If you have to go, then... Take me with you. Madeline, stop. You can't go with her. Shut up. You couldn't force me to give up to the- to give up on the mountain. And you can't force me to give up on Granny. Go away. I'm not forcing you. I'm asking you. I miss Granny, too. She meant a lot to both of us. Then why is it so easy for you to leave her behind? It's not easy. Maybe I pushed us to get over it too quickly. But this isn't healthy, either. I just want us to survive this. I know she's gone. And this is just a dream. Catching this bird won't bring her back. Okay. So that was kind of my theory, was that we are dreaming. This is all, like, a visual manifestation of Madeline dealing with her death. Right. And while that's not confirmed, that's starting to look more likely. And I was thinking about that at work. And... I like that direction, and it would explain why everything is so sudden, so stark, why Madeline is so, like, upfront and forceful, more so than usual, and that's because this is, like, just a raw visualization. I hope that's the case. Catching this bird won't bring her back. I'm so sorry, Madeline. Let's wake up. And we'll face this together. No. Not yet. I want to set things right first. What do you mean? The bird. It's trapped here because of me. We need to help it escape before we leave. Granny wouldn't want it to be stuck like this. You're right. Let's do it. But as soon as we're done, we need to wake up. This place is so weird. I want to go home. Okay. Well, I wanted to go to the bird, but... Oh, okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. 
Okay. I like the percussion. All right. Oh, we got falling platforms now. Let's go. Okay, we're back to jellyfish time. I'm glad this is one of my favorite mechanics. Uh, pass through. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Very nice. I like how the music is building. Oh, that's so cool. The bird's helping too. Let's go. Okay. 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 I see you. Okay. This is cool. All right. And then up and then over. <laughs> yeah. I like I like that we basically have like a double battle in boost now. That's so cool. Okay. Okay. I've I've started to come back around on this level in the story of it too. Okay, we need to get on top of it. All right. Up. Over. Up. Over. Get on top. And then catch the bird. Oh, come on. What? How was I supposed to react to that in time? Okay. Whatever. That's fine. Okay. I, I have like a big smile plastered on my face now. This is really neat. This is a good payoff. Okay. But what is the bird exactly? That's that's the big question we need to answer before I'm like wholly satisfied with everything, right? I need to know who the bird is. Is it really a part of Granny or is it just like I don't know, like Madeline's conscience, her will to push through things? What? How did that count? Come on. Okay. I was kind of hoping that since... Damn it. That since Badalyn... Oh my god, can we save this? No, okay. I was kind of hoping that since Badalyn joined us again, that we would have double dashes back. But I guess this level is pretty centered around the gimmick of temporary double dashes. Okay. And then let go. And that was too early. I'm just now noticing the bass in this song. Good shit. Good shit. Okay. And then up. That was too late? Hmm. How am I mistiming this? Okay, we can kind of we can kind of adjust things by doing that. Okay, and then we there we go. I got it. Okay, we definitely need the height there. Okay. Oh no. Battle and come back. We're not done. Okay. Well. Okay, these rooms are getting pretty long now. Okay. And then let it go. And then up and over. There we go. Okay, and then we throw it and then catch it with Battlin. Okay. We got this. Okay, okay, there we go. I like that we we still get the momentum Oh my god. From the Battlin boost too. Carried over to the jellyfish. Okay. Oh no. Okay, we have the we have the fish back again. Okay. All right. One dash has to be used there. Bounce. Oh wait, no it doesn't. There we go. Okay. Nope, that was too far, Mr. Bird. What the hell? Okay. I'm liking these uh I'm liking these long take rooms where it's just non-stop, you know what I mean? Like, it's almost, like, on rails a little bit. Okay, okay. Oh, Battlin's back down there. Okay. And bop. And up. And over. Dash. Bounce. Up and through. Up and through. Dash. Dash. Up. Over. Left. Help me back up. Over. Oh, yeah! <laughs> That's so cool. Okay. 
And now we go. Each knee sunshine yon. We go. Uh, but I think I need my dash. Oh, and I know just how to get it back. Yeah! Cool. Okay. And... I mean, I guess, I guess the wave dash wasn't necessary there. Gold feather with moving junk this time. I don't know if we've ever seen moving obstacles with the feather. Over. Okay. These rooms are also really not that hard, I've noticed. Okay. I think we just need to do that. Over. Through. Up. No. <laughs> the timing was very poor. Oh. That's really tight. Okay. Over. Okay, we can we can delay a little bit there. Why was there stuff at the top there? I'm confused. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> Up and go and Okay. I see the timing for that now. Oh hey, it's the it's the musical. It's the Le Motif. That's so cool. We're using the, the main theme of the game. At least I assume it's the main theme of the game, considering it's the song that happens in 1 and 7. Which are, like, two of the most story-important levels in the game. I mean, I guess I guess technically 1 isn't that important. It's just the start. But it's, it's the song that happens at the start and the end of the game. Usually that's the main theme of the game, right? Ooh. Choir. Okay, I really like this song. I like this rendition a lot. Oh, okay, we're going this way. I thought for sure we were going left. Those dash gems over there were really bothering me. And go. Okay, I don't know what those are all about. But, you know, maybe... Maybe I can come back another time and look. Um... Interesting. What if I... Okay, that works. And then we can launch. Okay. Oh, that's so tight, though. That has to be what they want, though. There's no, there's no other way for me to get on top of this other fish here. The second one. Okay, but what if we... Do we have enough space? Uh, no, we don't. We have enough space to, to do that. But then we don't get our dash back. And we also... I don't feel like we have enough... We don't have enough, like, vertical momentum there. That's so odd. Okay, I think we just need to be... On the far side of the fish is the deal. In order to get up to the right height. Mm. How did I do it? Oh, that's how we're supposed to do it. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, okay, okay. Now, now we're cooking with gas. Let's go. Oh, no, that was supposed to be a diagonal. Maybe I should buy another PS4 controller. Because I, I sold my PS4 to put money toward my PS5. And I really do like the DualSense controllers a lot, but the batteries just don't last very long. And they're also, like, really big and bulky. <laughs> and usually that's fine. For, like, action games and stuff, that's great. But... Sorry, I'm focusing. Damn it. For action games and stuff, that's great. I like that they're big and bulky. But for games that take a lot of precision, like, I definitely started to feel feel the wear on my hands during Hollow Knight. 
but especially here and now with this game using the dual sense controller has been a little bit like detrimental i think i should probably get you know what i could do though i could <laughs> i could play this game with the uh the dragon quest slime controller that i have which is also a ps4 controller and that would be hilarious Maybe I'll maybe I'll go for a couple uh, a couple goldens with it. That'd be funny if I got some goldens with the slime. Okay, okay, and we're going again. Uh, dodge the fish. Don't touch them. Okay, that works. That's fine. That's fine. Everything is fine. Okay. Uh, we have dream blocks again. Oh, how I have missed you, my beloved mechanic. Okay. Over. Oh, okay. Just <laughs> Was that payback battling? Good lord. Okay. Alright, and then up and over. And then be reactive. Also, I missed battle in there. So that's kind of cool that she decided to move on anyway. Hopefully that's the case if I if I manage to like somehow skip her in a room where I'm supposed to use her, right? Okay, that's not just a one use. That's nice of you. I didn't want to throw it. I just wanted to let it go. Okay. Okay, I need to I need to hold the grab button. All right, and then we just go. We just goo for it. Now I'm thinking about Dragon Quest slimes. All right, go. Up. Bash, bash. Is that a trash can or a, what is that actually? I don't know what that is. Okay, anyway. Ooh, 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 why? Why is there? Okay. Oh, but... What? Huh? I'm... Confused. Why... Do they want me to bounce... Off the side of that block? That's a ridiculous jump if that's what they want, but I don't see any other any other route to take here. But I have to dash to get to it. Is a wall bounce enough time to stall? No. This room would very much benefit from binoculars. What is the deal? Ooh, new instruments. How long is this song? Because it keeps feeling like I've made it to the loop. But I just haven't. This must be a very long song. I'm so genuinely like, I'm kind of stuck <laughs> on this room. Because even the the wall bounce is too much. If I had a second... If I had a second dash, it'd be easy. But I don't. Is there anything over here? No. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. No. Regardless, regardless of any kind of positioning I try to do with these blocks. Oh, wait a minute. We learned. Okay, okay. You go over there. 
Ah, okay. I gotcha. Okay, okay, okay. We learned that you can push them. But then how do I... How do I get over to the other side of Mr. Fish? We just gotta do it like that? Okay, okay. What the heck? Okay, that's... I didn't know how to react to everything happening there. Okay. Up. Over. Down. Dash. Over. That was not high enough. We have to be, like, at the dead-ass top of that block. Okay. Up and over. And then what? The one time I feel like I really want binoculars, I don't get binoculars. And that is a crying shame. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we can do that. I did not think... Oh, and then we hop over. Okay, okay, I gotcha. Okay, that took me a little longer than I would have liked to admit. But, uh, I'm glad that we have at least got it figured out now. And then we go on through, and just avoid, and we have to jump there. I didn't think it was going to go into the, the electricity, but it did, and that's fine. Through. Dash through. Not right. Upright, please. I would like one large upright with a Diet Coke. Thank you. All right, all right. And then we jump. And then there's more. Okay. Huh? Uh. Oh, okay, I think I have the right idea, though. If we can... Oh, my God. No. No, no, no. Okay, what the hell do they want there? I thought I had to, like, carry the momentum up. Good lord. Good god, this room is... Oof. Do they want me to... to wall bounce it? Maybe? No, that seems ridiculous. What? It's gotta be the momentum thing I was thinking, right? I can't see any other solution out of that. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it. I was thinking about it slightly backwards. That's that's a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Okay. Okay. So we want to grab this and then use that momentum. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, we got to use both of those dashes very sparingly. They both have to be used to hit that box. Okay, we got it. We got it. Hit. Up. Hit. Oh no, I almost completely screwed it up. I thought we had to go for the bird. Oh my god. <sighs> okay. I need to take a drink. Not of alcohol. Of Diet Coke. I was serious. I do like Diet Coke. Okay. Um. And I know that it is objectively wrong to like Diet Coke. But I do anyway. Oh, this is funky. Okay. Strange room. Okay. Hmm. So what are we... That was weird. That was a really quick turnaround on that bounce. Okay. But then, like... Okay. I think we need to... 
really delay this and get them to be almost the same height. Okay, now go. That's not almost the same height. Those are way off. But that still might have worked. Hmm. Yeah, because if we're too far behind, then we gotta wait for this one to pass through the electricity up there. And that's just not it, Chief. Okay. Over. Over. And then wait a little bit. I wanted to see if I could circle around to the bottom to time it. Okay. Then we go up. But that wasn't quick enough. This is hard. Okay. At least the way I'm doing it is hard. I don't actually know if the puzzle itself is really that hard. Or, okay, 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 that's, that's a good little trick to time it. Okay, that seems much easier than what I've been doing. Okay, let's try utilizing that to our advantage, an up dash here. Okay, okay, bird, please get me out of here. Oh no, but then we gotta, <laughs> okay, okay, and then we gotta cycle back around to the block. That's, oof, okay. Up, over, 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 up, through, no. Okay, over, okay, okay. What are we doing? We're going over here. Oh, but what? Huh? Okay, I gotta figure out that deal. We don't have much time left on that block, but I don't even know if we need it. I need to take another look at that segment. I cannot believe I saved that. What? Even if this is the failed attempt, which it will be, I'm amazed that that worked out in our favor. We have to get... I see. Okay, I get it now. I see what we need to do. Okay, okay, there we go. Hit, over, up, left, bird. Oh, okay, okay, but then we just get the ground. Whew. Okay, uh, wave dash, over. Oh, but we have to wave dash again, got it. Wave dash, nope. Wave dash, wave dash. That was barely a wave dash. I got, like, no momentum from that. Okay, we're doing big, big moves here. I don't even think that was a wave dash. I think that was just a regular jump off of the block. Just like that. That wasn't a wave dash. Okay. And then wave dash through. Wave dash. And then we have to... Oh, we have to go up. Okay. You know, thank God it's not wind in this room. <laughs> I shouldn't have jinxed it. Okay, we have to wave dash again. Okay, 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 I see what we need. Uh, brain, please, slow down. I see what we need to do there. We have to chain wave dashes together. Go, go, wave dash, go, go, jump, jump, wave dash, bird, let's go. Oh no, but we have to do one there. <laughs> Okay, 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 we got it. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Okay. Oh, fucking, I literally, literally, literally just said, thank God there's not wind. I'm so dumb. I actually jinxed it. Oh, my fucking God. Okay, well, at least it's golden feather with wind. 
I don't know if we've ever had this combo. Go, 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 through, go, 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 through, go, through, through. Aw, oh, damn it. Okay, this room's actually not that bad. Tailwind is a lot nicer than headwind. Through, up, through, dash, dash. No, we have to dash, like, immediately. Okay. Through, jump, 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 through, up, dash, dash, dash. Quicker? Maybe, maybe a diagonal? Ooh, okay. What triggered the music to evolve there? What was the flag? Was it getting through the gap? Because, man, also the wormhole is moving. That's weird. Ooh. We're back to the motif. Okay. I really like this motif. Okay. That seemed to have sort of worked. Ish. Do, 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 do. Okay. Hmm. Multiple fish. Being rude, boys. How much longer is this level? This has got to be like the end, right? We've got to be there. This feels very climactic. Huh. Okay, what are we doing? with our, our fishy friends here. Okay, there we go. We just have to kind of fall between and then dash, jump off the next fish. I have to remember that the, the fish's whole hitbox, this song is fantastic, by the way. I love this rendition of this song. And I like how it's just been one string this whole portion of the level just evolving and evolving and changing. Saved. No, okay. Over, up, dash, jump, and then dash again, but it looks like we need to dash left. So that didn't seem like the right choice. Over, over. Uh huh. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to actually get to that point at least once. But I'm pretty convinced that we have to save our dash. Do 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 do. Okay. Over. That's how we do it. Okay, it's just pretty tight. Oh boy. Oh, what? <laughs> You're getting evil again, game. Cut it out. <laughs> that has to be a real violin, right? Because a lot of a lot a lot of the music this whole game has been very synthesized, which I don't mind. I quite like synthesized music. And then we have to. I mean, maybe we could make that, but that violin sounds real. I will be shocked to hear if that violin is synthesized. Because it really does not sound it. But who knows? At the, in this day and age, we're getting pretty good with sound mimicry. Okay. Up. Okay. Hit? No. Incorrect choice. Ya goob. Okay. Over, up, up, through. Okay. Dash, 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 go. Nice. Okay. And now we have a wall jump town. Which I, I, I never mind visiting, to be honest. They have good cuisine in wall jump town. It's certainly a hell of a lot better than bumper town. And I'm going to jinx myself again, right now, and be like, we haven't seen bumpers this whole stage. And that's okay. 
I'm I'm glad that if one mechanic did not show up in this stage, it's that one. Okay. Up. Nope. Bounce. I almost said bounce. I was close. Just because I said bounce right before it. <laughs> okay. Can't take that any further. Thank God these blocks don't fall. They just have some gravity. Okay, we have Mr. Kevin. Throw me. And... Do we have to wave dash here to keep up with it? Is that the plan? That is exactly the plan. That's really cool. This is this is one of my favorite screens in the game already. This is really hype. Go, duck. Battling. Get me out of here. Let's go. That's so cool. Okay. This is it. We're almost out of here. Let's do this for Granny. Okay. What do we have? We have a lot of empty space. All right, so we're taking the jelly and we're using the fish to get more momentum. We're passing the jelly through this whole thing, going up and over, bouncing up, passing the jelly through the wall. Battle and boosting back into it. And then we're just carrying the jellyfish a long way so far. Okay, we lose the jellyfish here. I assume we'll have the bird here. Otherwise, this doesn't make sense. And then we have another jellyfish. Okay, this is... Whew. And then we're adding double into the mix. We have to pass th this jellyfish under here to bounce it from those springs and get through ourselves. Okay. And that's what the double dash is for, is to get up here. And then we keep carrying and going and going and going. And then something happens here. And then we're going over again. Okay. My brain is full. We're just passing from jelly to jelly. And then there's the power box. Whew, okay. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Okay. All right, we need to use that momentum, but also we need to pass the jelly again. Uh, that works. Okay. Pass the jelly. We're playing pass the jelly, everybody. That sounds like... <laughs> I didn't actually think about it like... Like peanut butter and jelly jelly. I've just been thinking of the jellyfish for a while. And playing past the jelly sounds really weird. <laughs> I'm just I'm just imagining like a group of kids just with a, a jar of jelly playing hot potato with just some jelly in the middle of the road. <laughs> Cause one of the kids was like, I don't know, what do you wanna do? Uh <laughs> This is a weird scenario in my head. But I mean, like, we've, we've all done stuff like that, right? Like, if you had, like, a, a group of kids in your neighborhood, you played some weird, random, made-up games of just random shit you found. Unless I'm the weird one, which is more than possible. Man, we are only at the beginning of this room. And I don't like that. Okay, down. Pass. Okay. We are in new territory, and that's not it, but 
I was going to say, let's see how far we can get, and we did. Okay, okay, okay. Finally, some progress. Okay. I see what we're doing. Uh, okay, and then that's the end. I was, I was observing, and I totally lost it. Okay. I don't have any clue how far I am into this, because it seems like a really long ways, and is a really long ways, but, I mean, like... A good chunk of it is just, like, going forward there at the beginning with a lot of open space. And it's a very horizontal room. Okay, I figured out how to throw it to the left there. Okay. And get to the bird. Okay. We've made it. Oh, there's wind now? Oh, come on. I don't like that. Okay, we need the jellyfish there. How far along is that? In the grand scheme of things. This has got to be the final room, right? It, this would be absurd if it isn't. Because, <laughs> man, this is a really long ways. But then there's also, like, this whole thing. I don't know what's happening. Okay, so we're already to, like, the electric wall. And then... There's more. Okay. So we made it a decent chunk of the way already. But how much longer is it still? Oh. Are you alright, Madeline? We're so close, but it feels impossible. No, it doesn't. I've just been taking my time. Come on. Just a few more tries. We can do this. Wow. Okay. You know, I had always I had always said that the game really feels like it wants you to beat it, but that's the first time it's like outwardly encouraged me like that. That's really cool, actually. Okay. Forward, up, over. No, diagonal, not right. Damn it. Okay, okay, okay. I see what we need to do there. I got it. Man, it takes me it takes me so long to get back there every time. I need to get really consistent at the beginning. Whew. Okay, okay. Throw, dash, dash. And then we need to hit the spring, but yes, that is the correct the correct solution. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, grab that. And take it for as long as we can. Now what? Oh, we're going up. Okay, that's why there's an electric wall there. Okay. Please. 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 Okay, okay. We can... We can adjust. Okay. We're playing... I hate this. We're playing Operation right now? Oh my god. <laughs> no. No. I don't like it. Okay. Let's take it nice and slow. Oh, what the hell. Okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. How far does this go? Good lord, okay. Just take it careful. Fucking careful. That's not careful. Please. I'm panicking. I'm actually genuinely panicking. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Uh, did I fuck up? I think I fucked up. No! <laughs> Where does that put me? No way! <laughs> oh my god. You know, thank god we don't run out of stamina <laughs> while holding on to the jellyfish because good lord. Could you imagine? Alright, well we're already going through this a lot faster than we were. Maybe it's just because I'm not blind reacting to it. It's not as scary. Okay. Now we avoid the jelly, or the boys. I don't know what else to call them. The fish. My brain is full right now. Okay, don't let go. We have to get a fucking door key somewhere. Uh... What? Ah, okay, 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 okay. And we're falling. 
We're we're fucking free falling now. Oh wait a minute! I just realized this is gonna lead back down, and we're gonna have to keep going with more jellyfish stuff. What the fuck? This is. <laughs> this room is nuts. Okay, okay. Well, okay. We can't we can't look at that portion, but I assume. Okay. God, this is ridiculous. This has to be the last room. If it's not, and there's more stuff like this after, I'm gonna lose my mind. Uh, okay, so up, and then we do whatever the hell, and then we come back down here, and then we keep fucking going. <laughs> okay, this doesn't look that bad, though. We just hold on to the jellyfish. Bounce, bounce. I, I, I want to get acquainted with this before I even, I even touch that. Uh, bounce, bounce, over. Jellyfish fish bounce over pass 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 and then bounce and then that's it okay okay this is like teetering on the edge of too much it's not it's not that bad but it is pretty insane it's just that like the performance of it isn't insanely difficult. It's just really long, and you have to remember exactly what to do. And also, I have a whole lot of game before this to get acquainted to these mechanics. If this is the final challenge they wanted to do, then I think that the rest of the level before this is a pretty good length, honestly. That was close. Okay, damn. But yeah, if this is, if this is really, like, the final challenge they wanted to do. I think having me go through all of that before this was the right choice, but who knows? There could be more after this. I wouldn't even be that shocked. Okay, this is new. Uh, uh. Uh, oh my god, what's happening? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, okay, okay, we made it, and now we can observe what's going on. From the, the lens of the binoculars, my brain was not working at all. Oh. Okay. I've been at this room for an hour of non-stop attempts now. I need to take a minute calm my nerves, rest my hands, get some food. I'll be back shortly. Dude, that was it. I was right there. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's good news. That's good news. That's not bad news. Please. Okay, come on. 
Come on. Oh my god. Madeline, make it over to the damn box. Okay, okay. Is there more? Oh my god, is there more? What's... What's happening? Okay. Okay, we're going straight up. Oh! Say goodbye to her for me. Is that it? Oh my god, are we done? <laughs> oh, holy shit. That room is insane. Granny. Hey there, kiddo. It's so great to see you. I didn't know what to do without you. But you aren't real. This is just a dream. So what? That didn't stop you from coming all this way. You finally found me, and now you care that it's just a dream? Quit making excuses and say what you need to say. I'm sorry that I didn't come to your funeral. I couldn't do it. I just shut down. Hey, <laughs> that sounds familiar. <laughs> hey, what do I care who showed up to that thing? I'm dead. <laughs> Funerals are for all you suckers stuck living without me. Thank you for looking out for me on the mountain. You helped me so much and... I really miss you. Oh. What am I supposed to do now? Just keep going? Like nothing happened? Like you weren't gone forever? Damn. All those pictures. <gasps> oh my god, okay. <laughs> there she is. Long time no see, strawberry. Oh, that's cute. Hey, Theo. It's been forever. You went off the grid. What happened to you? Yeah, sorry for not responding to your messages. Or answering your calls. Or replying to your emails? Oh, Madeline. I kind of had a breakdown when Granny died. And then I felt weird messaging you. Also, I just noticed the, uh, the pride flag and the trans flag. Is Madeline trans? Is that what I'm supposed to infer, or is that just an Easter egg? Cause, huh. I thought maybe you were mad at me for disappearing. It snowballed from there. Yeah, yeah, I know you. I figured the funeral might have triggered your anxiety. No big deal. He's so understanding. I love Theo so much. Next time, at least just let me know you're still alive. You feeling any better? Yeah. I'm finally starting to come to terms with it. When I first met Granny, I thought she was crazy. But then I got to know her. And I thought she was mean. <laughs> but she knew what I needed to hear. And she really helped me. I miss her a lot. Yeah, me too. I honestly thought she'd live forever. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I have to show you something. Oh? Remember how I told you my grandpa went to Celeste Mountain when he was younger? Well, I was going through some of his old stuff with Alex... And check out this photo I found. Uh, what? Is that Granny with your grandpa? What? Why does she look so much like Madeline? Theo, that's amazing. It looks like they were friends. That must be a coincidence. There's no... Yeah, no. Just like us. It really sucks that they're gone. But it's nice to know that we shared the mountain with them. Yeah. 
That is nice. Oh. <laughs> what are their names? Celia and Carlos? Is that what that says at the bottom right? And there they go. How many deaths? How many? 2282. That's a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it. Th that's everything, right? Oh, the bird. Six hours and 44 minutes. Oof. That was a lot of fun. I really liked that level a lot. Um, I definitely came around on the story. Once once I discovered that that wasn't really happening and that was all internal and kind of amplified, um, that, that really settled for me. Um, having Madeline kind of have to not lose everything when confronted with something traumatic is pretty um, thematically apt like it it makes sense to have that happen she's not just like perfect magically fixed since she climbed celeste mountain i guess that was a bit naive of me to kind of assume um but she managed to hold it together with Badalyn's help of course but she managed to get through it and still push herself she's still growing even though sometimes she may take a step backwards and that's okay i really like that that level was really long and it was really hard. I, I definitely do think that was the hardest level in the game. Uh, if you're curious, I did keep track. Uh, in total, that last screen took me about two hours. Um, that's less time, you may remember, than 8C's final room. And I do think it is objectively harder than 8C's final room, but... For me, personally, it didn't feel like it was that long. I didn't feel super, like, annoyed like I did with Core C. Um, but that but that may be just due to me not really liking the limited dash mechanic. But I, I really like all the mechanics in Farewell. I think, I think the only real low point of Farewell... It, it was short-lived, so it's not that big of a deal, but I, I wasn't really a fan of the the cassette block section. I thought that that was like a standout kind of low point for me, but it makes sense that they would bring that back since they were kind of going through and using all the old mechanics again. Um, yeah, that last room's nuts, but it's a lot of fun. Um, my final thoughts on the game haven't really changed much since we finished seven um but to reiterate uh how i feel uh i think this game is incredible at what it does it has become one of my favorite games of all time i i don't know if i'd quite say like top 10 but it's up there it's in, it's in that ballpark um th this this game does an amazing job musically visually gameplay wise squeezing everything that it can out of every mechanic without making anything feel stale um it's surprisingly long. I, I was not expecting this game to be anywhere near this long. A platformer. Like, Hollow Knight, sure. I, I, I keep comparing it to Hollow Knight because I did these two games pretty recently. They were both hard indie games I'd been putting off for a while and that I really came out enjoying. Um, Hollow Knight, I can see why that took so long. And I knew that it was going to because it's a Metroidvania and a very big one at that. This, though, I was like, oh, platformer. Even if it's really hard, it won't take that long. 33 hours is not no time. <laughs> and I didn't even do absolutely everything. Um, but yeah. This game, I love the soundtrack. I love the characters, the limited cast. They really do wonders with them. Uh, even in the DLC. I, I, I liked seeing Theo again. That was nice. Um... Aesthetically, this game's gorgeous. Musically, this game's incredible. Just, I I really don't have much that I would say to improve this game. Uh, a couple mechanics I'm not really a big fan of. Once in a while, once in a blue moon. <laughs> but that's 
that's really my strongest criticism. I am extremely invested in seeing what uh, extremely okay games is going to make in the future, especially Earthblade. I am beyond excited for that now. Uh, if you remember, that was one of my driving motivations because they were like, oh, we're making a Metroidvania now. And I'm like, oh, great. Now I have to play Celeste and see if I like that. And I do. So now the concept of Celeste in a Metroidvania, even if it's not exactly that, is mind-boggling to me. But the last thing that I want to say is thank you guys. This series took off much more than I could have ever imagined. First video as of recording has almost 500 views. I've gotten a couple of videos that had gotten views like that in the past, but not so quick. And 500 views. You know, some people are like, oh, that's not that many. People get millions, billions of views. To me, that's a lot. I've, I've been doing this on and off for 12 years now. And I've just been plugging away at it. I've just been doing it because I love it. I've been under this thousand subscriber threshold. And... It's, it, it's been a little hard to keep going. I'm not doing it for the subscribers. I'm doing it because I have a lot of fun doing it. But I'm, I, I, I'm lying if I say that I don't want people to enjoy it too. And the fact that it hit the algorithm so hard and that so many of you have seemed to enjoy this series and left so many kind words, thank you so much. It, it really blows my mind that these videos are getting like 100 views in the day that they upload, sometimes 200. The fact that fucking 20 people want to watch me is insane to me, let alone this many of you. Thank you so much. With all that said, I've been Guildmaster Wiggly. If you enjoyed this series, please consider giving this video a like. If you are new, consider subscribing. If you want to follow my Twitch, Twitter, or join my Discord and hang out, they're all in the description. And I'll see you guys with the next series.